His father, according to him, called him, uh, call, said he was gay. No, he called him faggot, which is different. Okay, well, why do you have to get so uh, emotional about it? Well, just calm friends. down because uh, your arguments uh, really are more persuasive if you can be yeah, rational right. about it rather than just yelling and screaming. It offends me that a molested child is being blamed this way for the perversion of his molester, number one. Number two, it <coughs> prohibits me from proving what Mr. Kuriyama knows, that the person who shared that bed with the bumpers was a beautiful young woman named Noelle Terleski. And if this indeed was ever even a cognizable issue in this trial, I would have been more than happy to put Eric Menendez's beautiful girlfriends on the witness stand to explain his sexuality. But it was such a red herring with respect to a provable issue that had any relevance to this case from the very beginning. It was simply a matter of Mr. Kuriyama wanting to prejudice the jury against my client. That, obviously, I did not try to disprove what the court <coughs> consistently prohibited him from trying to prove. And now for him to be able to get up and take totally, totally neutral information from the record and argue this prejudicial theory, I think, is absolutely wrong, unfair, denies my client the right to confront evidence, denies him the right to put on a defense, to argue that these ludicrous speculative theories that his mother confronted him, of which there is no evidence, because she was listening in on his phone calls, no doubt with his homosexual lovers, of which there is not a shred Bear of evidence. Bear in mind, there is no jury here. I could hear you and understand you without I understand. emotionality. It really well, I'm sorry, Judge, way. you know I am emotional, and I know you don't like it, but that's it the does, way I am. It's not productive. It doesn't help. Well, it's counterproductive. If it, if it hurts, calm down. If it hurts, it shouldn't. Well, it should be a situation where you can argue rationally and unemotionally. You know, if I may. Yeah, I'm not finished, Mr. Kuriyama. Um, the notion that he, I mean, it, it, to string together this nonsense and argue that that justifies arguing that somehow Eric was homosexual and this was a motive for the homicides uh, deprives my, my client of this right to answer any evidence validly before the jury and to put on a defense.